combat soldiers of World War II. He was awarded every U.S. military combat award for valor available from the U.S. Army and was decorated by France and Belgium. He served in the Mediterranean and European theater of operations. Murphy received the Medal of Honor for his defensive actions against German troops on January 26, 1945, at the Colmore Pocket near Holtswith, France, aged only 19. During an hour-long siege, he stood alone on a burning tank destroyer firing a machine gun at attacking German soldiers and tanks. Wounded and out of ammunition, Murphy climbed off the tank, refused medical attention, and led his men on a successful counterattack. Murphy was born into a large sharecropper family in Hunt County, Texas. His father abandoned the family, and his mother died when he was a teenager. Murphy dropped out of school in fifth grade to pick cotton and find other work to help support his family, and his skill with a hunting rifle was a necessity for feeding them. His older sister helped him to falsify documentation about his birth date to meet the minimum age requirement for enlisting in the military. After being turned down by the Navy and the Marine Corps Murphy enlisted in the Army. He first saw action in the Allied invasion of Sicily and Anzio, and was part of the 1944 liberation of Rome. In the Allied invasion of southern France that began August 15, 1944, Murphy saw action at Montlamar and led his men on a successful assault at the Low Met Quarry near Clury in northeastern France in October 1944. After the war Murphy enjoyed a 21-year acting career. He played himself in the 1955 autobiographical To Hell and Back based on his 1949 memoirs of the same name, but most of his films were westerns. He made guest appearances on celebrity television shows and starred in the series Whispering Smith. Murphy was also a fairly accomplished songwriter and bred quarter horses in California and Arizona, becoming a regular participant in horse racing. Suffering what would in later years be labeled post-traumatic stress disorder, he slept with a loaded handgun under his pillow and looked for solace in addictive sleeping pills. In the last few years of his life he was plagued with money problems, but remained aware of his role model influence and refused offers for alcohol and cigarette commercials. Murphy died in a plane crash in Virginia in 1971, 23 days before his 46th birthday, and was interred with full military honors at Arlington National Cemetery. Early Life Audie Leon Murphy was born the seventh of twelve children to Emmett Berry Murphy and his wife Josie Bell Killian on June 20, 1925, in Kingston, Hunt County, Texas.